Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm recording uh, with the Samsung Galaxy S20 as most of you know it's got a triple camera setup it's got a 12 megapixel main sensor with an f1.8 aperture also got the telephoto lens 64 megapixel and the 12 megapixel third lens which is obviously the ultra wide angle lens one thing that a lot of people have spoken about recently is uh, regarding uh, the issues with the camera that people are facing i've had quite a few updates in the last uh, few months ever since i've had the s20 I think about four or five uh, update specifically targeting the camera uh, i've had some issues with focusing where the dual pixel tech used uh, in this phone has also given me some trouble with focusing so uh, let's have a quick look and see after this four or five updates what is the story so far i'm by the way recording with the 1080p 60 frames per second so it'll be a good test for the phone to see how the optical image stabilization works along with uh, eis and so much other tech that the phone has Hopefully that will work out for it. So first and foremost, you can see I'm walking along at a fair brisk pace. So let's move a, a bit more faster. There we go. And we'll see if the footage comes out as stable. I haven't got the steady mode on. It's on normal regular mode. So now let's have a look at the thumb test, the focusing issues and see if that's been fixed. It was quite a few times that the phone gave me a lot of trouble and I was unable to focus and the focusing was jumping in and out. So let's have a look. Let's bring the thumb in. You can tell straight away, guys, still it's a bit hit and miss. Okay, now it's picked up. Once it picks up, there you go. Taking again time. So this is after about four or five OT updates and still the camera is having focusing issue. And to be honest, I have never seen a, a Galaxy flagship phone having so many updates and still having issues with focusing, uh, with jumping in and out and taking its time to focus on objects. So my thumb test is, uh, I would say, a kind of a pass and a fail as well. So I would say about 80 to 85 percent and it still needs work. It's definitely not as fast as it used to be on the S9 and the S10 and takes its time. Okay, so there we go guys, as you can tell. Okay, but overall, uh, the quality obviously is, is, is Samsung level. It's a flagship level quality, but still, uh, when you spend so much money, uh, especially with the iPhones uh, leading the way in video, and also audio uh, along with photos uh, this is not the time for samsung to mess up if they want to gain the maximum market share a leading android as we know let's get close to the pole and see if you can get this work in here the tree and the pole and the tree and the pole not too bad obviously it's got more surface area here but that's why it's not having issues but you can tell it's definitely not as quick as it used to be on the flagship phones from yesteryears s10 s9 and so even the s8 has a quicker faster focus than the s20 so guys that's me recording at 1080p of the samsung galaxy uh, s20 obviously at 60 frames per second uh, if you like my video please uh, give it a thumbs up any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and like always please subscribe as it helps and i shall see you in the next video